guys, I'm out on a hike today and I've gone to um, the waterfall where I was uh, in the winter time. I don't know if you guys remember that from my winter camping. And as you can see in the intro clip there, um, there's not a lot of water coming down the falls uh, right now. So I was going to make some lunch and uh, I'm actually making my fire on the stream bed here um, on the dried up rocks um, just because we have a pretty high fire risk uh, in this area so I want to kind of put it away from the woods and an area where I can get water to put it out right away. So you can see my little setup there, right near the falls. And I thought it would be a good occasion to try out this Sea to Summit X-Pot kettle. Um, it's pretty neat, I'll show it to you. So basically it's a collapsible kettle and it fits nicely in your pack and you can open up the sides. The sides are silicone, it holds about 1.3 liters. And it's got a cute little lid here to go on top. So I was going to make some soup today. Um, now the one thing about it is that this is the only spot that's supposed to be in contact with the heat. There should be no flames contacting the silicone. Um, so what I'm going to do is when I do my fire here, I'm going to just let it die down and get some coals and then I'll put it on top. The other option I'm thinking is to put this flat rock you know, on top of the fire, let the flames die down and then sort of heat on top of here. So I guess we'll get cooking. I also got this um, sole um, survival tool. I don't know why I got it, but I picked it up. It's about 20 bucks or so. Uh, it's got a few features to it. It's got a whistle up here. It has a light. A little blinking option on there as well. Got a little knife tool here, so I just eject it. And it's got there here to strike a flint, a little bit of a sharper cutting blade there at the front, screwdriver, some wrenches here, and as you can see in the top of the case here, if I open it up, it's got some um, cotton buds to help start a fire, and it's got the flint right here the strike yeah it's not amazing but there it goes so let's try to start the fire Well, I guess it worked okay. Okay, so there's a little cook stove. Fire's down in there, and this stone's gonna really heat up. And it'll keep the flames, uh, for the most part, away from the pot. It's gonna let the flames die down a bit before putting the pot on. So I'm just gonna start making the soup, and I wanted to show you another thing I have is this Hydra Pack water bottle. Uh, as you can see, the sides are soft, and it collapses down and screws together the two plastic parts to make a uh, a container that's about this big uh, when you don't have it filled with water. Um, so it's pretty cool to keep in your pack um, and then you know fill it with water if you're pumping water in uh, and treating it for uh, camping. The only thing with it is once the water level gets down in it, it gets kind of a little noodly and sort of flops over. So um, my word of advice with that one is just be careful, but it's, it's a kind of a cool idea. So we're just going to measure out the water now for the soup. Okay, so we're just going to measure it out. Perfect, two cups of water. Yeah, so as you can see, it gets a little floppy. So just be cautious. When you close it though, you trap some air inside and uh, that's really helpful for keeping it upright. But always put the lid on because you just don't want to be sorry when it flops over. So yeah, with the air and the water in there, it's fairly sturdy.
So as you can see, you should protect the sides from the open flame. So anyway, you can kind of put the stones to uh, deflect the flames. I probably could use a bigger stone here, but this one's nice and thin and it'll turns out the heat quite nicely to the pot, so we'll just stick with that one for now. Let's check in on our soup. Oh yeah, look at that. Boiling away nicely there. There you go guys, there's a review of about three things I took on my little um, you know, lunch today by the falls. And um, the only thing I'm really not entirely impressed with is the little sole survival tool. It's a little gimmicky, but you know, it works. I wouldn't rely on it, that's for sure, but uh, it's a small thing that you can kind of keep on your belt um, just for like a day trip or something like that, because it does have its uses, that's for sure. Um, the Hydro Pack water bottle, it's great, you know, you can compact it right down and then filter water into it and have a full-sized one liter water bottle, so I like that a lot. Just be wary, it can get tippy if the water levels get low. However, when you close it, like I said, once you add the water plus the air in it, it makes it a little bit more stable. And always put the lid back on if you put it down. And as for the little Sea to Summit X pot, I think it's pretty good. I definitely didn't use it for the application it was intended for. It was intended for using um, along with a alcohol stove or a camp stove. I kind of had to make a little fire here that was encased in the stone um, and so that it didn't uh, the flames didn't touch the sides of the pot but you know it worked it didn't get burnt got a little sooty but you know whatever that's fine and it cooked my soup just like a regular pot would so I definitely recommend it it does come in a couple of different sizes and there's other um, things they have in their kitchen uh, you know ensemble as well all right guys have a great week I hope you enjoyed this little review uh, for things to take on your little lunch for a day trip and uh, thumbs up if you'd like more you know, gear reviews. And uh, I hope you have a great week. Take care.